Hey YouTube, it's Fix It With Biscuit here, and uh, we got that motor. I looked at it, and boy oh boy, it's got all different kinds of wires, and you don't know what's what or whatever, and I'm not an electrician, but I wanted to make this video to show how to wire, how to understand the wiring. Um, I didn't understand it at first, but now I figured it out. And here is your sheet and it tells you how to wire it uh we are looking at here just this section because we're doing 115 volt so what we have here is i thought at first that this was the wiring diagram this whole thing no this is two different wiring diagrams this one is for counterclockwise and this is for clockwise so for uh, counterclockwise, you would go P1 would be your white wire coming out of your cord, which is neutral. Okay, and then you, that's all by itself is that P1 with the white wire for counterclockwise. And then you go P2, P, T3, T8, and all three of those wires get wired together, and that's it. You cap them off, put them away you're done with those wires. And then you go down to T2, T4, T5, and L2, which L2 would be your hot wire. That would be your power wire. And then you cap those together. And then you got a green wire. Well, what the heck do you do with the green wire? Well, the green wire goes, you see these uh, let me, four bolts that are here well there's three because I took one out which is green they threw a little bit of green paint on it which means green wire and it also has the symbol of ground on it so that would be how you wire it clockwise uh, or counterclockwise sorry so if you wanted to learn how to wire it clockwise okay you got your L1 and your P1. With P1 on here is always white, which is neutral. And then you go P2, T3, T5. That makes a loop. That's you you put those on there, you wire nut it, done. Okay? And then you move on to your hot wires, which is T2, T4, and T8 with your black wire uh, is what I have as your hot wire. Uh, not all are going to be the same as in uh, wiring to the wall because there are some universal plugs that use a uh, different color. I think they use blue, um, blue, yellow, and green or blue, yellow, and red. I don't know. I, I don't remember what those colors were, but there is a universal um wiring for those and you would have to figure that out this is only for the white black and green that's the only way that this wiring uh works on this that i just explained it i uh for the universal um different colored wires uh you'd have to look up to find out what your power neutral and ground is I don't remember. I have wired a few things with them, um, but that's a different video. So anyways, so we want it to go counterclockwise for right now because we're just going to, um, you know, so I'll show you what you do there is you got your P1, which is your white wire, which you find that's P2 and this is P1. So P1 goes to your white. We're just going to, we're not going to plug this in or anything. I'm just showing you what it looks like all together. Okay, and then we want P2, T3, and T8. So we want, we got our P2 here. We need T8 and T3. Where are you, booger? Okay, T3. 
all of these ones get wired together. Okay, and then you wire your T2, T4, and T5. So that should be the last three on here. T2, T4, and T5. And you wire all these ones to your black, which my arm's probably right in the way of that. Okay, wire those to the black, and then you take your green and you put it to the green screw, nut, whatever, bolt, and there you go. That's how you wire this counterclockwise. Now for the opposite, you know, I'm not going to do it, but, uh, you know, you just hook up that diagram there. So I just wanted to uh, make this video real quick about, because it confused the heck out of me at first. I don't didn't know what L1 and L2 means, which it's lead one and lead two. Lead one is your uh, neutral, lead two is your hot. Uh, just to let you guys know. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned.